Education think tank Africa Education Watch has raised eyebrows about the inconsistency in the amount spent on the free senior high school policy by the government since its inception. The Finance Minister Ken Ofoyata, while delivering the mid-year budget review this week, stated that the government's major flagship program had seen an investment of 5.3 billion Ghana cities. This contradicts an assertion by the Education Minister that a total of 7.7 .7 billion Ghana cities had so far been spent on the policy since 2017. In an interaction with City News, the Public Relations Officer of the Education Ministry, Kwesi Kwaten, explained the discrepancies in figures. Okay, that every, every figure that the Ministry of Education will put out is a figure that we had from Ministry of Finance because we do not release the money. So under no circumstances would we have control over the figures. And there's the more reason why my minister earlier on gave the 7.62 billion. Uh, but of course, I mean, I have also read from 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 the budget statement. Uh, I think that was yesterday, right? Uh, which uh, gives a different figure of around 5.3 billion or so. But I mean, I am not the person to speak for the finance minister and, and explain within the context that he situated it. But of course, if you read the text of of that statement, it talks about we have invested an amount of 5.3 billion in 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 free SHS so far as secondary education is concerned. I mean, I am not a finance person, but from the lay in basic finance that we have, we know that investment is obviously different from expenditure. That you can really invest a amount, but at the end of the day, spend even more than that. So, I'm I'm sure finance will be able to give us that very details. But I think we shouldn't. Uh, 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 necessarily run into that conclusion that probably because the figures are unable to con reconcile, maybe, I mean, raises some cause of alarm or something. Kwesi Kwaten announced that an amount of 150 million Ghana cities had been released to settle part of the 340 million cities' debt owed food suppliers. So as I speak to you, I think an excess of 150 million has been released to suppliers, which has also... Is that out of the 340? I, I, I'm sure the, the, the figure by fast talk can confirm because they deal directly with them. Uh, but I can only confirm that about 150 million has been released to them, which means that it will give them that also again that fiscal space to, to still be able to supply, especially now the banks are coming in as soon as they supply, they can the banks can be able to pay them on time whilst government later reimburses them. And uh, I mean, largely, we, we believe that. It, 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 it solves some of uh, the, the larger portion of this challenge that we are having. But of course, I mean, everything that you have human interface, you may have one or two challenges along the way. Uh, you look at the greater good, and when there are challenges, then you quickly resolve it. As part of long-term measures to deal with food shortage in senior high schools, the ministry also hinted at plans by the government to liaise with some financial institutions who will serve as mediators in ensuring the frequent release of funds to the food suppliers. The ministry or government now will have to, have to adjust their, 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 their arrangements with, with the suppliers, being it the amounts that they charge on the food items. But of course, I mean, Largely, that is the duty of the national uh, uh, buffer stock uh, company. They they does those arrangements and 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 and, and what it, it follows, so that within the long time we may have some structural adjustment, and then suppliers are paid, pay, and we we speed up their how do you call it, the the rate uh, we speed up the the rate of recovery of of whatever supplies that they they've made. So this time around, we even have the minister for education. Uh, of course, together with the Ministry of Finance, bringing in some banks uh, who will be that mediator to, as, as a matter of agency, pay the suppliers on time so that later on government reimburses the banks. So we believe that as a long time as it's going to mm -hmm. resolve the, the, the challenge or the, the situation. How many banks are we talking about? As that now, I can confirm that of ADB, but I'm sure other banks that come on board subsequently will communicate to you and the public as well.